or not to meme? That is the question. Today we have a look at Beamed. Within the last few weeks, Beamed has began to trend within search engines across the web, first becoming popular on Facebook. It is what is known as a bait and switch joke, similar to the Rickroll. The intention of the joke is for somebody to click on a link expecting to see one thing and become surprised when they see a happy little string bean declaring that they just got beaned. So let's have a look at some of the usage of the joke and see if it's worthy of being called a meme. All right, so here's the original usage of the joke. It says, uh oh, you freaking moron, you just got beaned. Tag your friends to totally bean them. I can see what they're trying to do, you know, the string bean's cute and he's got some super cool shoes on, you know, there's been memes in the past that have been successful for this reason, but I'm not sure, I gotta see more with this one. Roses are red, the grass is green. Uh oh, you freaking moron, you just got beaned. He's cute, he's tall, he's got gorgeous eyes and a stunning smile. I didn't say a name, but he popped into your head, didn't he? I gotta admit, he did. He's got beautiful eyes, he's tall, he's cute, and that smile is to die for. Uh oh, you freaking doofus, you just got bananaed. I think this banana, I think the banana banana could be its own meme. He, he looks very interesting. He's got, you know, his little, he kind of looks scary to be honest. Now that I'm looking at him a little bit more, he looks pretty scary. You guys, if you woke up and you saw this guy standing at the foot of your bed, would you not shit your pants? This is a thing of nightmares. This is what nightmares are made of right here. Just look at this guy, he's hardcore beaning right now. He's got 14% battery life on his phone. It's almost dead. It's past nine o'clock. This guy is a hardcore beaner. And I don't mean beaner in the racist way, I mean beaner in the beaned way. Where's my food? Here's your stank with no vegetal as you ordered, sir. Cool and good. Did someone say no vegetals? And you see the little string bean go flying into the mouth? I taste a vegetal. Angry. You know, I've been there a few times. I totally understand where this face is coming from. You know, it's, it's, it's not every meal that you want to eat a vegetable with, you know? Wait, before you go any further. Uh-oh, you guys, this video just got x-rated. Oh, wait, never mind. We just got beamed. Is this like the Little Mermaid and like her prince guy? Because they totally look like the prince guy and, Lil and the Ariel Mermaid. Although she has legs, so I guess it's not the Little Mermaid unless it's taking place when she had legs on the land. I think I'm overthinking this one. Yes, hello, does the McBorger contain vegetal? No. Good and cool, I'll take three. Uh-oh, they're putting string beans on the burger. He's not gonna like that. After doing a bite, this definitely contains vegetals. You just got beaned, you silly doofus. You should have checked your burger before you took a bite. The joke's on you, you doofus. I can see why some people enjoy this joke. Come on, that string bean is cute as hell. I suppose it could be a fun little joke to trick your friends with, but I could never imagine it being my go-to joke while trying to trick people. To me, it feels a little weak. But I did see some potential with some of those comics it was incorporated into. I enjoyed those more than the concept of the bait and switch joke itself. But that's just me. Now it's time to hear what you guys think. So I ask, to meme or not to meme? That is the question. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Thank you all so very much for watching and I'll catch you guys next time.